now. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear it. Can you see the book? Yes, I, I can see the book now. Okay, so now let's continue. So in here, this is where we ended last Saturday. So you're going to classify all of the words below into part of a house or in a garden. So let's start with the attic. What is attic? Is it a part of a house or in a garden? Attic. Uh, attic is a uh, part of the uh, is part of the house. Okay, very good. Now, what about balcony? Balcony. Uh, balcony is in is in the house. That's right. What about basement? Basement is in the house. Great. What about cellar? Uh, cellar. Cellar is in the house. Okay. Very good. What about conservatory? Uh, conservatory is in the garden. Okay, so yes, conservator okay, conservatory is either part of a house or in a garden. We can still see um, conservatory as part of the house and sometimes they are in the garden. Okay, very good. Now, what about drive? Drive. Uh, drive. Drive is part of the house. Okay. So how about, oh, so here, Andy, please tell me all of the words that are part of the house. the fence okay fence very good what uh, else extension nice uh garage okay garage garage gate gate hall hall hedge 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 and Uh, land, landing, landing, okay. Uh, patio, okay, patio. What else? Uh, porch, porch, okay. Uh, shutters. Shutters. Yes, and sliding door. Okay, sliding doors. Anything else? Stairs. Stairs, very good. And that's all. That's it. So now let's check one by one if all of the underlined words are really part of the house. Okay, so we have the hall, very good. Landing, nice. Porch, very good. Shutters, okay. Sliding doors, stairs, nice. Okay, and that's it. We don't have fence, gate, um, patio, and hedge. Okay, so now what are the words here that belongs to a garden? Uh, in the garden is flower bed. Okay, flower bed, very good. Uh, pond. 
Yes, that's right. And path. Path. Okay. Yeah. Very uh, good. lawn. Lawn. Okay. Uh. Swimming pool. Okay, swimming pool. Uh, that's all. Okay, that's it. So let's check. We have here drive. Okay. Fence. Flower bed. Garage. Gate. Um, hedge. Lawn. Path. Patio. Pond. Swimming pool. And that's it. Okay. So here we have fence and gate. Can you still remember fence and gate, Andy? They come together. I'm going to show you a picture of a gate. Okay. I know that you have a gate in your subdivision. So this is a gate. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, another yeah. one like this one, like mod, like um, traditional gate. Oh, so this is in the garden. Yes, it part of the garden and also fence. Um, I'm not sure if you can still remember fence. So this is fence. Oh, OK. Yes. OK, so do you have any questions about this, Andy? Uh, no. Now let's take a look with the next page. Okay, so which is the odd one out? Okay, so what do you mean by this teacher AM? So this means you're going to add one word that doesn't belong to the group. Okay, you're going to take away one word that doesn't belong to the group. And please explain why. Okay, so please take note, Andy, that sometimes there are more than one answer. Okay, so now let me give you an example. So number one, we have cellar, basement, and attic. So cellar is, um, cellar is the one that doesn't belong to the group. Why? Because basement is, um, is usually the in the ground part of the house and attic is on top of the house so it's like opposite so now what about number two detached house bungalow and mansion basement or detached house say that again please uh is basement or detached house um, hold on. So number two. So number two only have detached house, bungalow, and mansion. Which one doesn't belong to the group? Uh, sort of attic. Wait a minute. We are now in number two, Andy. Oh. Uh, maybe it's mansion. Mansion. Please say mansion. Mansion. Okay, why do you say that mansion doesn't belong to the group? Because uh, to building a mansion is very expensive. Exactly, and only royal family can build a mansion. I mean, most of the royal family have their own mansion. Okay, and mansion is bigger than detached or bungalow. Oh, bungalow, let me see. Oh, and the touch. Let's see. Okay, so this one, Andy, um, I'm sorry, the correct word is mansion. This is wrong. Okay, you are correct, mansion. So now what about number three? Lawn, path, and porch. Which one doesn't belong to the group? Uh... Most group, uh, path. Path. 
Why? Uh, because path. Uh, because path is in uh. Because path is in the garden. We difficult to see it. Okay, because path is difficult to see. So very good. Now, what about number four? So we have detached house, semi-detached house, and Terry's house. Okay. Uh. Next one is uh detached house. Detach. Please say detach house. A uh, detached house. Okay. Why do you say so? Uh, because detached house is made of glass. Okay. So very good. Wow. So now, Andy, what about number five? We have fence, gate, and hedge. Which one? doesn't belong to the group and why? Uh, belong. Which one doesn't belong or which word doesn't belong to the group and why? Uh, hedge. Very good. Why? Uh, because hedge is protecting the the trees. Okay. Huh? So yes, this one is hedge. Okay, hedge. this is wrong. So now what about number six? We have host, houseboat, mobile home, and villa. Which one doesn't belong to the group and why? Uh, maybe is mobile phone. Mobile home. Why no, do you say mobile so? Mobile home. Yes, mobile home. Why do you say so? Uh. Because mobile mobile home is uh mobile home can move and the other one is can move. Like villa villa is a house that can eh? no I I I I change uh I change my answer is villa. Why? Because uh the mobile uh the mobile how or the mobile home and houseboat there their both can uh can move and mm. and a uh, village cannot very good okay so now number seven which word doesn't belong to the group and why uh I uh patio. That's right, patio. Why? Because uh because a pond and swimming pool they both have water and the patio ha don't have. Yes, and the patio doesn't have. Very good, Andy. Okay, so now number eight we have cottage, houseboat, and farmhouse. Which word doesn't belong to the group and why? Uh, I think it's houseboat. Uh, houseboat. 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 Why do you say so? Uh, because house was uh, for the vacation and co uh, cottage and farmhouse there is for work. 
OK, wow, very good, Andy. OK, so Andy, why is it that you've got uh, you've got it all correct. That's eight out of eight. A perfect score. What oh, gives you the clue? Uh, it's just something that you know? Or you trust your instinct in answering this? Or you've used a dictionary to know each of these words. Uh, I I wrote this on my notebook. Oh wow, great, Andy. Okay, so very good because I'm very impressed with your scores and the way you tell me why is it that it doesn't belong to the group. Okay, so now Andy, here it is. So in task three, you're going to listen to an estate agent showing someone round a house. So which seven parts of the house are mentioned in the dialogue? Are you ready to listen? Yes. Okay, so now here it is. Lesson 4A, exercises six and eight. So, this is the house. As I say, it's conveniently located near to the shops, and there are lots of good restaurants and bars nearby. So, it's quite noisy then? Lively, I'd say. We're in a very popular area of town. The road's quite busy. Well, yes, it can get busy. There are lots of buses that will take you right to the town centre. Here's one now, in fact. Oh, it's stopping right outside the front gate. There is a bus stop here. Yes. What could be more convenient? Shall we go in? So, this is the hall. And on the right is the living room. Cozy, isn't it? Hmm. It's certainly small and a bit dark. And through here is the kitchen. Oh, it's tiny. It certainly isn't spacious, but I wouldn't say it's cramped. The cooker and fridge are new, and it looks out onto the back garden. Oh, yes. The owner isn't keen on gardening, then? No, I suppose not. And the back fence is very dilapidated. It looks like it could fall down at any moment. Yes, it might possibly need a bit of work. Moving on upstairs. This is the main bedroom. There's a charming view from the window. I can see right into the bus station. Yes, um, I mean above that. You can see right across the town. So... What do you think of the house? Hmm. I'm not sure. It could be beautifully restored. Okay. So were you able to listen well? Oh, uh, could I listen it again? Yeah, sure. Here it is. Lesson 4A. Exercises 6 and 8. So, this is the house. As I say, it's conveniently located near to the shops and there are lots of good restaurants and bars nearby. So, it's quite noisy then? Lively, I'd say. We're in a very popular area of town. The road's quite busy. Well, yes, it can get busy. There are lots of buses that will take you right to the town centre. Here's one now, in fact. Oh. It's stopping right outside the front gate. There is a bus stop here. Yes. What could be more convenient? Shall we go in? So, this is the hall. And on the right is the living room. Cozy, isn't it? 
Hmm. It's certainly small and a bit dark. And through here is the kitchen. Oh, it's tiny. It certainly isn't spacious, but I wouldn't say it's cramped. The cooker and fridge are new, and it looks out onto the back garden. Oh, yes. The owner isn't keen on gardening, then? No, I suppose not. And the back fence is very dilapidated. It looks like it could fall down at any moment. Yes, it might possibly need a bit of work. Uh, moving on, upstairs. This is the main bedroom. There's a charming view from the window. I can see right into the bus station. Yes, um, I mean above that. You can see right across the town. So, what do you think of the house? Hmm, I'm not sure. It could be beautifully restored. Okay. So now, Andy, are you ready to tell me the seven parts of the house that are mentioned yeah. in the dialogue? Okay, yes. so what are those seven parts? It's uh, very near to the uh, road. Okay. And it's quite noisy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the city, in the city central. Okay. Uh, and the right is living room, but it's small and dark. Okay. Uh, the kitchen are steaming mm. and it's close to the bus station. It's very oh. convenient. Okay, so you've described the house. So, but it's good because you've mentioned the living room, the kitchen, and even and even um yeah, just the how do I say this? Just the living room and kitchen. So now let's take a look with the seven parts of the house. We have the front gate, the hall. The living room, you got it. Kitchen, you still got it. Back garden, back fence, and main bedroom. So these are the seven parts of the house. When we say parts of the house, Andy, so those are examples of these are um, bedroom, what else? A uh, garage, a garden, um, attic, basement. So those are parts of the house. What you told me about um, quiet, it is near to the city center. So that is the description of the house. Okay. okay. But it's good because you got two parts of the house, which are living room and kitchen. Do you have any questions about the about task three? Uh, no. Okay. So now, Andy, let's take a look at some vocabulary okay so these are the things that we can use to describe a house okay so next please i please listen and repeat charming 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 okay so charming is an adjective that means very pleasant or attractive we can also this uh, we can also use charming to describe a person as long as it's adjective, we can always use it to describe a noun. Okay, now next. Contemporary. Contemporary. Okay, contemporary is an adjective that means belonging to the same time. Example, contemporary dance. Okay, now next. Conveniently. Conveniently. Okay, can you please read the meaning? Uh... Convenient, uh, in a way that is useful, easy, or quick uh, to do, in a way that does not cause problems. Okay, great. So now, Andy, let's take a look with the next one. Located. Located. Great. So that it is an adjective that means to be in a particular place. Okay. And next we have. Cozy. Cozy. Okay, so now, Andy, do you have any questions about these words? Uh, no. Okay, so now I'm going to challenge you. Please make um, a sentence using each of the words. For example, this bedroom is very charming. 
Char okay. Very uh pleasant or actually I didn't know what is the meaning of charming. Oh, so when we say charming, that means it's very beautiful, attractive, or it's very pleasant to the eyes. Oh, so that is very uh so that's very very impressive yeah somewhat like that impressive attractive okay okay oh okay i know it now Okay, can you please make a sentence using charming? Uh, uh, he's, uh, he's, his new, uh, his new shoes are very charming. Yes, his new shoes are very charming. Okay, so now next we have here contemporary. So example, the style of our dance that we're going to perform this Monday is contemporary dance. Can you please make a sentence using contemporary? Uh... Uh, phone. Phone is a com contemporary. Uh, no. Uh, uh, Helen. Uh, Helen Keller is a. Uh, is a contemporary poet, uh, writer. Very good. Okay, and next we have here conveniently. Okay, so I'm going to make a sentence using conveniently. Um, uh, let me think. <laughs> the school is located there oh no 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 the school i uh -huh. the location of the school is very convenient to all of the students huh? yeah uh now the buildings uh no uh the city central is very convenient. The city center is very conveniently. Okay, so maybe you can say the oh, city center oh. is very convenient. Uh, yes, uh, living, living in the city central is very conveniently. Living in the city center is very conveniently. You can still use convenient because convenient is an adjective when we say conveniently it is an ad adverb example she conveniently found her keys in the purse pocket or maybe you can say she live in the city center conveniently oh, okay yes okay so andy since it's already time so we will just um end in here Okay, and tomorrow we will still start the class by 6.25, okay? Okay. Great, so thank you so much for joining our class tonight, Andy. I hope you learned something. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.